Steve, why don't you tell me what the United Healthcare guys were running today in the TT? We had a pretty wide range. Um, Rory probably had our most out there setup. He was riding a 44 inner ring and a 58 outer ring. Uh, the, the descent coming in today had a, had a bit of a tailwind to it, so we wanted to make sure he had enough gear to get over the top there. Uh, so the, that 58 really helped him be able to sit on the 12 or 13 cog and run a slightly straighter chain line as opposed to a 55 or a 56 where he really would have been spun out. So uh, sitting behind the guys, you could really see that uh, with that 58 chain ring, they were really able to keep going while, where other riders, other riders were tucking because they were completely out of gear. Uh, additionally, Rory rode uh, instead of the normal tri-spoke or very deep front wheel because the winds were so rough, he rode an edge climbing wheel. So it's about a 25 mil deep climbing wheel so that he didn't have to worry about getting blown all over the road and uh, help him keep his line nice and straight and narrow. So it's pretty good. You got to stay in the bars longer than some of the guys who were sitting there getting blown around. Um, definitely good to have uh, all the wheel choices we do from Edge. And that, uh, you know, who knew a climbing wheel would be perfect for a time trial. But it worked <laughs> out. It was good. He had a good ride today. Uh, top five, I think. Mm -hmm. So all good. All right. uh, similar to, to Rory, Chris Baldwin also rode a rather large chain ring. But he took a different tack. Yep. He rode the, the 58 outer, and then he was pretty concerned about being undergeared on the inner side. So he actually rode a 50 tooth inner ring. So it's a massive inner ring. And he rode it with a 26 tooth cog in the back. And on the climbs, he was solidly in the 50 26. And then uh, coming over a couple of the rollers, he even rode it in the uh, 58 26, crossed up, so he didn't have to worry about that shift. Mm. And then it, again, with the uh, that 58 tooth, when the wind really kicked up behind him, he was able to keep pedaling. Um, unfortunately, he was passed by Zabriskie, but it was interesting. Right after Zabriskie came by him, you could see that Zabriskie had no gear left and was sit sitting and tucking down the hill while Chris was motoring away. So, pretty cool to see. Um, yeah, these guys had a lot of choices today. We yeah. basically ran the gamut. We had a few guys on the normal 5544s with the disc and the tri-spoke. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but uh, Chris and Rory both asked for something a little bit special and they got it. And uh, they both rode pretty well today. So what did Chris have as far as wheels? Chris rode a disc in the back and a shallow wheel in front. Um, Chris and Rory both went relatively late in the day and the yeah. winds were picking up. Yeah. And we were getting feedback that the winds out on the course were really bad. So we switched, last minute we switched Chris to a shallow front wheel as well. Um, Mark Damar, our Dutch rider, also rode the uh, disc with the shallow wheel. Um, Brad White rode a disc and a tri-spoke. Roman Kaloon also rode a, a disc and a tri-spoke. And they, they both said they, there were a few times where they had to come out of, out of their aero bars and get onto the, the cow horns to be able to keep it upright. Mm. So it was a, not quite as bad as yesterday, but still pretty hectic as far as the wind. Well, they kept you pretty busy today, setting all this up. <laughs> yeah, you know, luckily uh, there are only so many 58 tooth chain rings to go around. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Yeah, no problem. Thank you.